Hey guys, welcome back to Pissnet Productions. Uh, we're back with the uh, Fiesta Derp, as uh, it's been lovingly named. Um, so what we're gonna be doing now is, I realize it's been a little while since I changed the oil. My wife's been driving a little, I, I, I'm not gonna blame it on her. But um, what I am gonna do is run some seafoam through it as well. Uh, it's something I haven't done to this vehicle yet. And uh, I'm, I'm a big believer in it, I, I don't know. Maybe it just makes you feel better. It's a couple dollar in insurance, really. That's how I see it. So I'm not gonna throw it in the gas tank. I'm gonna throw some of the oil and the rest through the vacuum system. And uh, people always like watching all the smoke and shit come out. So we'll see how much smoke this produces, but that's the plan for this video. Uh, I'm gonna give it an oil change. I'm gonna do a seafoam treatment to it. And yeah, go from there. Okay, so if you've never heard of this, um, well, you're probably not super big into cars, but Essentially, uh, this is like an all-in-one cleaner. There's a couple of different ways you can go about it. Uh, you can throw, the, the standard one that you hear a lot of guys doing is they throw one-third in the oil, one-third in the gas tank, and one-third through the vacuum system. Um, I'm going to throw about one-third into the oil and then throw two-thirds through the vacuum system. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. I have fuel stabilizers that I prefer over seafoam. Once again, it's kind of a preference thing. There are channels out there that go through which one's better and all the tests, either way. It's just what I've always done. So a little bit into the oil. Um, the car is cold right now. I'm gonna throw, I'll throw it into the oil ahead of time and then warm the car up and then do the vacuum treatment and then change the oil. And throwing in all oh, about that much. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks about a third. Okay, I got it on now. I'm gonna let this run until it comes up to temp, and then we will do the vacuum stuff. So, a couple, no, I'll we'll probably just let it idle up. Okay, car's up to temp. Um, you wanna put this into a vacuum line that kind of disperses through all of them. So, there's actually like a little cap right here that's probably easy for me to pour it into. Um, you can also take it off of the brake master, off of this intake tube. There's a lot of different options. So I think I'll put it into here because it looks like it kind of goes through everything. Although I don't really want it going into the brake booster system. So I think that's what I'll do. Just a heads up, the car may stall out when you do this. Okay. Just one sec. So I actually managed to get the bottle right over top of it to make sure everything got pulled in. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put this back together and throw that back in. And, oh, uh oh, I just dropped it, of course. We'll let this soak for like 10, 15 minutes and then uh, we'll start it back up and hopefully you get that big white smoke show everybody wants to see. Okay, about uh, 30 minutes went by. We let it real soak in there. So now we do the shot that everybody wants, and that is at the exhaust. Start the car up and see what kind of smoke we get. Supposed to. There we go. Now we're getting her. Sorry to all my neighbors. Xander, do you want to come here and do this? So there we go. Woo. Real smoky. 
It's a little stinky, yeah. It's a little stinky. So we're gonna let that go for a little bit until it stops puffing and then we'll change the oil. Okay, so now we'll just jack the car up, drop the oil, refill it back up, obviously do the filter as well. And yeah, we should have some new fluids. I got a bunch of driving to do soon, so I wanna make sure it was in tip top shape. Okay, so we're gonna slide underneath. Got my little catch thing. This thing doesn't take a lot of oil, so that should do it. Uh, drain bolt on the Fiesta is under the passenger side. The other thing as well, if you put it on a tray, it stops from spillage. It also allows you to pull it out a little bit easier. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's probably way up there, if I remember correctly. Okay, so one of the tricks that I've always done whenever changing oil, especially now that we're using the sea foam and stuff because it tends to pull out a lot of stuff, is before I change the filter, is I'll actually throw some clean oil through the system to try and get any of the sediment that's been settled at the bottom of the oil pan. Um, this engine takes three and a half to four quarts. Um, so what I will do then is I will take out um, maybe down to four and a half. That way I still have half a quart to play with just in case. So I'll pour out a bit until I hit four and a half. Then I know I can pour most of this in and uh, it just, it kind of makes measuring it a little bit easier too. Uh, also video not sponsored by Castrol. This is what was on sale. So that's what I'm using. And that kids is why you use a funnel. Don't try and be a hero, just use a funnel. And now I'm cleaning this shit out and it's gonna smoke all cause I was trying to do it and be big man on YouTube. Uh. Anyways, now, now that I've kind of flushed out some of the gunk, I can drop out the oil filter, which is kind of located in the front. So I'll slide my little pan forward and then take that out. Okay, one thing I forgot to do before I drop my oil filter in. Whew, that's warm. Make sure that the O-ring came off with it. As you can see here, it did. Which means that the other O-ring is not there. So you don't, if you ever double O-ring, you will leak like crazy. Okay, so now we're gonna put the new oil filter on. Once again, this is what was on sale. Always make sure to uh, lube up your O-ring that's on it. I've got the used oil here. That's what I'm using. It's not a big deal. There's gonna be a little bit of used oil that's in the crank anyways, or in the, in the yeah, in the crankcase. So a little bit more is not gonna hurt anything. Once again, Video not sponsored by Fran. Video not sponsored by anybody. You no, know sponsored by, sponsored by you guys for watching. Here, every time you watch, the YouTube fairy gives me like a tenth of a cent. <laughs> so, anyways, we want this to go on. Just hand tight. Don't want to crank it down too much. That's gonna seal it right there, and I'll probably wipe down that area so that way it doesn't start smoking right away. There we go, fun, fun. Now we'll top her up full of oil, I'll get a funnel, and we'll go from there. So funny enough, oh, and of course I fucking spill more. This is what I got, another Castrol container. So once again, three and a half to four. Um, this is sitting at four and a half. So I will take it down to the one mark. So we'll take it off the jack stands, pull our tray out. Um, we're on relatively level ground. We'll run the car for a second, see where our oil level's at. Also, this is what I mean by the tray. Got a little bit of spillage. I can keep my tool where it is. I can put, you know what I mean? It's just a, just a really simple, small thing. Um, makes changing oil a lot easier when you don't have a hoist. Okay, started the car. Um, made sure the oil pressure came up. Gave it a quick little rev. We'll check the dipstick, which is right here. And see where we're at, see if we need to add some more. Always easier to add in this case than to take it out. And definitely to add a little bit more in there. We're just at the low level. Let's so add a touch more and that should be good. That a second to get down there. Take a quick look. And 
don't know if you guys can tell, but we're pretty much halfway through it. So we're exactly where we want to be. Take a quick look underneath. No oil leaks. So that's pretty much it. So I'll cap everything off. I usually keep this little bit extra oil in the car just in case. Pretty much it. That's a real quick uh, tutorial there on the 2013 Fiesta oil change. So for all of our long-term fans, I know it probably wasn't the most exciting. This was kind of more for a how-to uh, for people who have this car and want to know how to do an oil change on it. So if, uh, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We've got a lot of cool stuff. We're going to be doing a couple more how-tos going forward. Uh, if you've been around for a long time, hopefully you guys learned a little bit. There's, there's a couple tips and tricks in there I use to make life easier. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a nice, short, sweet, dirty one. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the little boxes that come up. Check out our latest videos. Check out the video that YouTube thinks is best for you. Uh, let me know if that's actually a good video. Just maybe drop a comment and say, hey, this is a video it suggested. And no, it's not working and I'll change it up or something. But that's pretty much it. New videos out Mondays and Fridays. Podcasts out on Wednesday. If you're into podcasts, check out Pissnet Podcast. Lots of cool guests. Check out all of our other projects. The Suburban Project, which uh, should have a video that just released. And the Drift Chicken which we'll be working on very, very soon. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you again for watching, and we will catch you next time.